What's up y'all? It's Collections back at it again with another video. Today I'm going to be going over my Obsidian Flames pre-release experience. Uh, this is actually the second pre-release I went to for Obsidian Flames. Just wanted to uh, record a video about this one because the first one wasn't it was all, all too eventful. Uh, but this one we had some crazy pulls and a lot of good games. Um, so what is a pre-release exactly? Well, a pre-release is sort of a small tournament where you're able to open cards up early and able to play with them and play in a tournament either to win some packs or just have some fun. Uh, the place I went to for the pre-release this time didn't do uh, a prize per win format, rather a format where everyone who joined not only got this uh, build and battle kit, which came with a 40 card deck and four packs, but on top of that, three packs just for participating. And so yeah, the build and battle kit comes with this paper, sort of going over the set, uh, showing off the set list. Um, as you guys know, Obsidian Flames is the Charizard set. So here we go. We got that Charizard EX Special Illustrator Rare right here, and the Charizard EX Gold right there. But yeah, um, it's essentially a really fun time just to meet up with the rest of the community, talk to some people, uh, get to know other people, and just play the game. I would definitely recommend it for both beginners and veterans alike. Um, but yeah, in terms of what I brought to the event, I brought a pack of sleeves. Dragon shields are honestly uh, really, really good. So I brought a pack of those. Um, a playmat, in this case, the Marnie playmat. And essentially what happens is you get the chance to build a deck. Um, as you can see from the deck here, I built a deck around uh, Palafin, which is one of the new Pokemon from uh, Gen 9. It also has a special, uh, sorry, not a special illustrator rare, <coughs> rather uh, just a regular illustrator rare in this set. Um, on top of other support Pokemon. So this deck is essentially just a, a deck where uh, you try to either get out Finizen early and evolve it to Palofin, or bring out Toxtricity, whose attack allows it to hit based off of the uh, number of different types of Pokemon you have on your bench. So as you can see from my deck here, uh, I have, I think, I believe, if I remember correctly, a 3-3 three, three line where I have three Toxel. Oh, sorry, that's not Toxel. 3 Toxel and 3 Toxtricity. Uh, so the kit ended up coming with, I believe, 2 Toxtricities, which are these two. Uh, they're a bit special because the regular Toxtricity in this set is a holographic rare, which means the only way to get this non-holographic rare is to play in pre-release wow. events. So there's 6 of those. Um, I believe I added, yeah, 1 Palafin. You can tell since it's the reverse holo rare. Similar to Toxtricity, Palafin is a holo rare in the normal uh, Obsidian Flame set, so the only way to get the non hollow is through these uh, build and battle kits and three Finizen. Uh, its attack, Jet Punch, lets you hit on bench, um, and especially in pre release where Pokemon are smaller and people have to play whatever they get, such as this Bonsley, for example, with only 30 health. Having an attack that does 30 to not only the enemy but also the bench ha can be very useful. Uh, the other move is Jet Kick, Justice Kick, sorry, which does 210 if you switch this Pokemon from your bench to the active slot this turn. Uh, you can use that in combination with Bonsly or other baby Pokemon with no retreat cost, or hope that uh, the kit, which is essentially the deck, the 40 card deck you start with, has a switch card. I know some of them don't, but the one I ended up playing did. And so the rest of these cards are essentially just, uh, cards are added to make the deck more consistent, to try and get Toxtricity to uh, work more often. And so you can see here, Bonsly gave me ground type, Entei for fire, Solog for psychic, and Audino for normal. Um, and the way Toxtricity worked, if I, I think I forgot to go over it actually, its second move, Loud Mix, makes it do 30 damage for each different type on your bench. So have a full bench of five different uh, types, you end up with 150 plus 50 for 200 damage. And especially since like, for example, Palafin, which is something you'll see quite often in a lot of the kits, it's a weakness to lightning, uh, having that electric attacker is pretty good. Uh, Finizen also, it's a basic 50 HP Pokemon. If your opponent starts with Finizen and you go second and you have a Toxel out, you can take a KO turn one using a slight intrusion because it's 30 damage times two when the Finizen is doubly weak. Uh, just some things to go over, uh, like the pre-release. And then each kit also comes with a bunch of trainers, uh, even some that you can't actually pull from your packs. Uh, this is actually one that I did pull. You can tell because it's the hollow version of Gita. But the other ones here, they're from other sets. Uh, base set Paldea, uh, sorry, base set Scarlet Violet, uh, Paldea Ball for Clavel, 
and just a bunch of energies. Uh, whatever card shop you go to should have energies available so that in case you want to swap your deck out for different types, you should be able to do that. Um, and the way you get the cards to swap out your deck is you get four cards in each kit. So from those four packs, you can kind of see uh, what I got here. Um, the place I went to also gave three extra packs, so that's why there's a couple extra cards. Uh, here is where the pre-release kit starts. Now, as you can see here, this is like a card of card going over what your deck could be doing. Uh, Palafin, Finizin, and you can see, yeah, you get energies just from pulling packs, a couple of cards, previews of what's going on. Uh, one thing to look out for if you do end up playing a pre-release, uh, watch out for camera up. There's a camera up which allows you to do 50, and then if you discard a card from your top of your deck and your opponent's deck, you can do 100 more for each uh, energy discarded this way. So that camera up for two energy could be just swinging for 250 and knocking out most Pokemon in uh, the pre-release. And uh, each kit also comes with a promo card, uh, as you can see at the bottom left here. I didn't end up using my Mawile promo, but this is the one I ended up getting. And I also ended up pulling this Rhyn and this Vespaquin. And so depending on like how the tournament is run, you might want to use like all your pulls, including full arts or EXs, uh, just because you get prize per win. But since mine was just a everyone gets three packs no matter what happens i didn't really feel the need to <laughs> use my floor card but yeah that's just a quick overview and then after winning the rounds after you finish the tournament your uh, play pokemon judge should usually give you a couple extra packs whether that's like three or two or one depending on how many wins you got but from those packs i got absolutely crazy pulls um i'll show you the best pull last uh actually he might be hiding right there let me hide him better I'm not sure if you guys got a quick pick, but yeah, I also think I accidentally flashed earlier. But in terms of what I pulled, yeah, nothing too great. Just a bunch of like basic packs, a bunch of commons, uncommons, stuff to fill out the um, binder essentially. But yeah, the first pack I pulled, oh, absolutely insane. I got the Terra Terror himself, the special Illustrator Rare Charizard. I did not expect to pull this at all. Um, honestly, having seen the card only through like scans on Poke Beach and stuff like that, I definitely don't think it does it justice. Seeing the way it shines in real life, the way um, the borders are sort of terrestrialized as well, I think it's a little different from just the regular EX Special Illustrator rares we've been getting in uh, Scarlet Violet. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. I could not believe I pulled this card. Uh, yeah, I didn't originally think it looked that different from just like the full art Charizard EX that they have in the set, but the way that Kira Igawa kind of just draws the lines coming out and the Charizard looking really ferocious, it's uh, a super awesome card. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much like my experience having gone to a pre-release. Uh, what I recommend it for people new to the game, definitely. I think it's a super easy format. Anyone can pick it up. You get a couple packs from the new set and you get to meet a bunch of cool people. Uh, even for veterans, it's just a great way to just open packs early and get a head start onto the set. Uh, see what's going on, get a better understanding of if any cards are that strong. Uh, in this case with Obsidian Flames, not super playable as a set, but still completely awesome to just open up a new set early and get your hands on packs a little bit quicker. So yeah, that's like my experience uh, with the pre-release. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys are planning to go to any pre-releases, if you guys have been, uh, what was your best pull, and if you guys are looking forward to Obsidian Flames, uh, I know the discourse around it right now is that Obsidian Flames is kind of like a, not the greatest set, especially with like 151 coming out, but I think there's a couple of really cool cards. Uh, Charizard EX, for example, even though I'm not the biggest Charizard fan, uh, pulling it is definitely like really awesome. I know there's another Ice Q EX that I'm really hoping to pull, even though I know that most people probably don't care about it as much. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and double sleeve this Charizard. You can tell it's already like in a perfect fit sleeve, but that's just to try and make sure it's uh, perfectly protected until I can move it to a top loader. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments and have a great day.